everyone checking in. Thank you. And will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee. And I noticed you're wearing a jacket. So a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> So a jacket and a backpack charge, and will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay, uh, aisle please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat fee. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. So I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle fee, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right, internet feed then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know, maybe. You never know, you should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So, will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on, that's mandatory! <laughs> No. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, a total comes to $1.2 million. Hey, what's going on here? I'm gonna be late for my shift. We're just waiting for a random drug and alcohol test. A test? What for? Oh, they do this sometimes, but more frequently now though, because apparently there's been a rise in crew coming to Probably the stress, like I totally get it. it, must be holiday travel and people are kind of crazy these days, but yeah, don't worry, it's only gonna take like two minutes, you won't be late for your flight. Oh my god, who would do such a thing? So tell me, why should we hire you? Well, I find a lot of joy in trying to create memorable experiences for others. Um, I'm, I'm also a team player and uh, I'm very good at problem solving as well as I speak seven languages and uh, I'm, I'm certified in first aid, which I know is an asset. But do you dance? Dance? Uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I can dance, not professionally, but uh, I did make a TikTok once on a dance trend and it got like a thousand views, so. Good enough, you're hired. Really? Thank you so much. Here is your uniform, you start Monday. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What did I apply for? To be a flight attendant. Excuse me, it's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, 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 mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees, which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah, you wanna see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! Oh. <laughs> uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine. I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a lose-lose situation for me. Ah! Oh no! Yeah. Yeah! No, I need to go with you! Yeah, you don't know! You have a job today! Wake up! I quit. You don't know! Ah! Ah! Okay. Welcome to Tim Hortons. Hello, hello. Uh, one copy. Ah, I need to talk about latte. You have a latte? Yes, we actually have our new handcrafted espresso beverages. Americano? No. Ah, cappuccino. Ah. Yes, we have all of them. Sorry, my daughter like espresso drink, but I don't remember which one. 
Well, from now until November 28, our Americanos, Cappuccinos, and Lattes are all just $2 any size. So just get all of them. Very good. I take Raji size everything. Here you go. Thank you very much. Americano, Latte, Cappuccino. Okay, Cappuccino. Wow, looks good. Oh, that was good. I probably made it. I'm so excited to be working together. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. <gasps> ah, told you, Mom, I always make it. <laughs> Lindsay, I need your help. I'm on my break. Leave me alone. It's an emergency! Literally everything is an emergency, so go away. I'm serious! I think someone's dying! Is there a doctor on board? Yes, but we still need you to help. Then they have a better chance of surviving than if I help them. attendant or if you were a flight attendant you really don't get phased by much anymore like we've seen it all oh i just want to take a shit and just like smear it all over the walls disgusting mm, whatever we don't really get phased oh a tarantula is loose in the cabin mm, scary but you know i could see how it happens i didn't think it was possible to shock me any further on a recent delta flight there was a situation in the cabin, where a passenger in 13A is breastfeeding a cat and will not put cat back in its carrier when the flight attendant requested. <laughs> this is a new one. That's a new one. I really wish I was there. <laughs> Hi, what can I get for you today? Yes, I would like to have your most expensive champagne in only one glass. All right, and for your father? This is not, this is not my father. I'm so sorry, I assumed he's your father because I heard you call him dad. Oh. <clears throat> In that case, uh, what would the gentleman have? For him, just the bill. Right. Check out that flight attendant. She's cute. She's okay. She's checking you out right now. She's not looking at you, she's just looking Shh, at the plane. She's kind. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Thank you. We all get that, I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, I mean, go for it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what? I saw this one TikTok of this guy picking up flight attendant with a note. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'll bet you 20 bucks she's gonna say yes. Fine, you'll run. <sighs> Will you go on a date with me? Yes or no? Get ready to pay up because this is golden and oh, oh here she comes excuse me miss I just have something for you thank you trash any more trash thank you okay everyone open up to show what you know antonio are you eating yes who told you that you could eat in my class um my stomach well eating isn't allowed in my class um when did my room become your class antonio i said stop Oh, you know what, you're right. You want some? You seem a little hungry. It's like, too late. You know, go to the office. The office? What they gonna do? Send me home? You know what I am going to do? What? I'm listening. Call your mom. Go right ahead. Call her. Who's this? Hey, girl, I bet you're still hungry. <laughs> Close the lid, then you flush. Don't close the lid, you're gonna get sucked right out of the water. Just kidding. The ones that said toilet water is the same as your coffee water. No, it's not.
we also have here a change table for your bebe. Okay, change your diapers here. Please throw the diapers in the trash and don't keep it at your seat. If you are feeling air sick, we have some puke bags in here for you to use. You can also ask for help. And yes, cabin crew can actually open the doors on the outside to help you in case you need it. Some airlines do give you extra toiletries, but if it's not there, just ask them and they can give it to you. No smoking. I know some people try. You will get charged. There are smoke detectors. Don't try. So once you wash your hands, you will notice that the water does not go down. You just need to press this button and down it goes. And that is the airplane for the tour. Croix de la Femme. DNG Dolce Garden. Versace Bright Crystal. I just want to let you know this is the best smelling plane I've ever been on. I know, because I have a monthly subscription of fragrances with Scentbird, where I get to choose from over 600 brands. Real, 100% authentic. Sample size, nope. How much? $16, but you can use my code and get it for $11 for the first month. All right. Tales from the skies, let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So, so we're flying over the United States. Oh. It's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me, you dropped something. That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great, so do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my God, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know, like she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my god, I know! Like, get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m., so don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate A57, but that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're gonna miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go! This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, your dog actually needs to remain in the carrier in the seat in front of you. What? Oh, <laughs> this is not a dog. Ma'am, I know that's a dog with the wig on. <laughs> Please, all animals need to be in the carrier unless you have proof that that's a service animal. Well, I see other passengers acting like animals and I don't see you locking them up. Oh, oh. I know it's hard to believe sometimes, but uh, these are humans. That's a dog, so... For the last time, this is not a dog. Are you a dog? Huh? Are you a dog? <coughs> See? Wait a second. You understand me? <coughs> You're cute. You can stay. Can one of you guys please do duty free? I'm so tired. Mm -mm. We're all tired. It's your turn, okay? Oh, fine. Duty free, anyone? Duty free. Hi, over here. Um, so what is your favorite fragrance? Yes, sir. Would that be perfume or cologne? Perfume. Certainly, sir. Well, uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents. It's uh, very light and fresh and just makes you feel great. That That's great. I'll take it. You keep it. P part, part of and how many other crew members do you have working on this flight today? Uh, there's like, I don't know, like four, 14 of us. Great. I'll take 13 more fragrances. Just have the crew 
pick whatever they want and then just let me know how much it is. Oh no, no, sir, we, we cannot accept that. Please, it's just to show my appreciation. I know how hard you all work. You have always been so kind to me on all of my flights. Please just enjoy it. Thank you so much. Excuse me, I'm a gold member? Wow, thank you so much for being a loyal customer for our airline. We really appreciate it. And as a loyal customer, why am I stuck here in economy and not automatically upgraded to business class? Oh, yes, we do provide complimentary upgrades to our gold members, uh, but it is based on availability. And unfortunately, today is a full flight. Is that right? Well, let's check the official website then, shall we? Oh, well, look at this. Gold members automatically qualify for a complimentary upgrade. <gasps> Uh, if you just keep reading it just say right there based on availability oh my god this airline is trash uh, i'll be more than happy to bring you some snacks from business what would make me happy is a better seat not some crummy pretzels in a bag well then our patio seating just opened up if you're interested welcome aboard welcome good morrow my lady okay Weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes, tis a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate, let thy through. Oh my god. Of course, they put the crazy lady in my section. <sighs> I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey! Why? You want more? Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady? You want to trade? Tales from the skies! Let's go! Ma'am, are you okay? Can I get you anything? Oh yeah, I just couldn't find the puke bag. If you need it, the puke bags are located in the seat pocket in front of you. Oh, I, I didn't see that, but it's okay. Here. Are you trying to give me vomit? Yeah, can you take this? me sir you can't eat that on the plane it has a a strong smell but it's so delicious i'm sorry sir it's it's really upsetting the other passengers i'm just gonna have to get rid of this okay throw it away i have go Flight attendants, we are equipped with duct tape, zip ties, if we're lucky, handcuffs to deal with the really, really terrible passengers. As I'm doing more research on Mexico, I realize that I want to start a petition to equip all flight attendants with the deadliest weapon ever made that can bypass security the chancla. I don't know how. But when thrown, the chancla is proven to hit its target 100% of the time. And then the recipient of the chancla will listen. You shut up. No, you shut up. Hey, both of you shut up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Hello, my friends. I am back from my vacation. And during that time, I went on several flights as a passenger. Usually nothing ever happens when I fly as a passenger, but this time something did. And this story is actually going to confirm that I'm actually not a very nice person. I was flying on an aircraft that looked similar to the photo behind me over here. You see this little ledge part above the seat right here? The passenger in front of me kept putting her trash, her drinks, her, her food, whatever she didn't want, on that little tiny ledge. In the event of turbulence, there's a 50% chance these items will fall to her or to me. 
The crew were amazing though, because they would come to the cabin all the time to pick up the trash, so there wasn't really enough time for any of this stuff to happen. But of course, she kept doing it, putting stuff on there. And the crew finally came and was like, ma'am, no need to put it up there. Please leave it down here. We'll come pick up all the items you don't want. And of course, you can ring the bell anytime and we'll remove it for you. Now it's finally time to land. The cabin crew have finished all their checks. We're all buckled in, ready to land. And what does she do? She puts a coffee cup on that ledge. So I was looking at that cup, thinking about what the chances were that that was gonna spill on me. Well, if the plane is descending and there is a cup on top, guess what? The cup is gonna go this way and there's a 100% chance it's gonna hit her. So I see the coffee cup slowly getting closer to her head. And at that moment, I swear, I had one of those genie angels and genie devils appear. So the genie angel was like, oh, you know, be the good person. You can stop this. It takes two seconds. You just have to remove it. Nothing's ever going to happen. And the devil genie was like, yo, she was inconsiderate AF. She was told not to do it. She still did it. And you know what? This is the only way she's going to learn her lesson, right? If it was hot coffee, for sure, I would have done something, but it wasn't. So <laughs> the devil won. The plane landed. The coffee fell all over her. She got up. She screamed. Ah! And then all the cabin crew were yelling at her, Ma'am, sit down! It's not safe! Sit down! And the whole time, I was just watching. Yeah, I'm going to hell.